But that's scary. You shouldn't do that to people. Girl. It's actually super nice out today. I know it probably doesn't look like it. <laughs> it looks kind of gloomy outside, but it's uh, yesterday it was about 60 degrees, and I think today's gonna be like 58. So that's a nice day for us. Good morning, guys. Uh, welcome back. Today I wanted to just to pick up the camera because I just had a lot going on, and I'm so scared that. If I wait to vlog another day that I'm just gonna have like no time. Um, I have some stuff that I want to finish getting together for baby. Uh, let me close this door because I have the, um, what do you call it? The dryer going. <laughs> I actually wanted to vlog this weekend, but I had my nephews here and that was a big treat because I just love them to death and it was actually nice because um, I'm expecting a baby boy in a few weeks and oh, I think... <laughs> Sorry, that was the delivery guy um, Dan had ordered me a uh, rocking chair for in our master bedroom so that when I want to nurse baby boy That I don't have to go upstairs each time to my rocking chair because I really want to use it Sorry, I keep getting a side track. Um, so like I was saying, I had my nephews here and it was nice because, I'm, like I said, I'm expecting a baby boy. Never had a boy. We have a 16 year old girl. Um, so it was nice just to have them here. Just, um, you know, if my son turns out like them, um, I'll be golden. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Um, my nephews are angels and they're really good boys. So if my son turns out like them, then that's great. Um, but while they were here this weekend, we took them to this place. <laughs> and I'll just show you guys really quick like how big these cin uh, cinnamon rolls are. Like, I don't know if you can... <laughs> I don't know if you can tell how big that is, but they're pretty big. Uh, and I sent them home with a couple, and then we also got a couple for the house. Uh, so there's a whole bunch of stuff that I want to get done today. Um, I do want to um, feed my plants. Um, I'll probably just gather them all. I did take a poll on this. You guys have seen this huge aloe plant I have. Um, I did take a poll on Instagram just to see what your guys' thoughts are about switching out the pot because when I first got this aloe plant, it was only like three stems and that was like huge. So I did get a bigger um, pot. So I'm gonna probably transfer that aloe plant into here and then use that um, maybe for a smaller aloe plant. So we'll, I'll see how that goes. Um, I did get another like cart station for like my nursing um, stuff. I already have one and I, it's already filled with like baby stuff like clothes and diapers changing like stuff and all that. Um, but I do have a lot of just stuff that I want to have a separate cart for for um, while I'm breastfeeding and to have by the chair that um, Dan got for me. So I'm gonna try and get that together today. Uh, just a lot is going on. Um, still having trouble walking around, um, but I'll get into that in a little bit. I'm finally getting some answers to why. Um, and it's just frustrating. <laughs> um, but let me go ahead and let me try and get, um... oh, and I do have a doctor's appointment today not at my OB at the hospital for an NST. So I want to get there on time. I usually get there on time, but registration always takes forever. So I'm gonna get there extra early um, so I can get that out of the way. All right, so let's get the cart together and then I'll kind of show you guys what is going on in our master bedroom, like where I'm gonna put the chair and the cart and everything. I'm probably not gonna put anything on the cart today 
maybe i don't know my I'm like all over the place um so i will let's get this um cart together first <laughs> While I'm putting this, um, I don't know what you call it, the tray together, uh, Dan is putting together <laughs> the, what do you call it? The chair, the rocking chair. <laughs> yeah, the glider. Uh, we're gonna put this together while he has a minute because Dan is super busy. He's a busy man. So he has a minute. <laughs> you can watch him. Can you see you? I can see me. Okay. You can see you? I can see me. So I'm just gonna try to clean up in here and then I have to get ready for my NST test. So I'm gonna take you guys with me to that. Um, but you guys have seen it before. Just sit there and press the button. Um, but I will let you guys know how that went and hopefully baby is fine. He seems to be moving a lot today. So I think that he will pass his test um, with flying colors and I don't have to worry about that. Oh well. Alright, so I wasn't expecting all that. <laughs> I actually went in for my appointment at, uh, I don't know what time it was. I think my appointment was at like at 1. And I got there early, so I was actually able to be seen by like 1. And it's now, I don't even know what time it is. Um, oh, it's 4.06. So, um... <clears throat> I'll just explain to you guys really quick and then maybe I'll go into it like later. I went for my NST and I've been having heart palpitations for for a while now, probably since um, my sec definitely my second trimester, maybe towards the end of my first, um, but not consistent like where it's like every day. And usually it's at nighttime, but it just so happened that I was having heart palpitations while I was having my NST and I was talking to the nurse and she's like well did you say anything to your doctor and I was like actually yeah and he told me to um like monitor them myself she's like well you can't really monitor them yourself because it's um it's done through like an EKG so this whole time we we've been trying to like track my pulse and I guess that's not like the correct way um, sorry that sun is like super bright and I just want to just sit down for a minute and just explain <laughs> like what what all just happened um every, everything is fine baby is great um so anyway they ordered me an EKG while I was in there and uh it's nice to know that I'm not going crazy that they did pick up my irregular heart rhythm uh, they didn't go into detail, like, the, like, what that actually means. Not that I would even know, like, understand. All I know is they told my doctor what was going on. They actually had me talk to him for a little while on the phone just to get some more information. Um, and he ordered me a, um, a heart monitor he originally was going to do it for a couple of days, but he wants to do it for 24 hours, which is good. Uh, that will give them an idea if they want to do it for longer. 
um, but for right now we're just going to do 24 hours and see how that goes. So I'll show you guys when I get home what it looks like just in case, I don't know, you ever have to go through this. <laughs> um, but it's just like a, you can, um, they put this around my neck, but I think you can just like wear it in your pocket. So it's, it's this thing right here and they have a bunch of stickers. I have some stickers like on my chest and like on my upper stomach and they're all hooked up to this monitor and um when i drop this monitor off it will has like all of the information stored in here so that the doctor can um, go over um any heart palpitations i was having and then just to make sure everything is lining up right um they give you this form and you have to just write down like the time, activity, and symptoms every time you were having the heart palpitations. Um, that way they can look at this and then probably look at your results and uh, connect the two. So that is what's going on. But other than that, my NST went great. And uh, like I said, baby is looking fabulous as always. And... But right now I'm going to head home uh, because I'm sure Dan uh, is freaking out. <laughs> he wanted to come with me today and I was like, no, don't, don't worry about it. I got it. <laughs> so he, uh, yeah, he's probably wanting me to get home. So let me go home and I still want to work on my transferring those, the flower pot things. Um, and also I want to finish putting like the chair and stuff into the bedroom even though I'm sure Dan already did that while I was gone um but I want to show you guys kind of like what the setup is looking like and then maybe um depending on how everything goes with this heart thing and um the doctor I will probably try to um just organize the rest of the baby stuff in the room you know just in case and I'll show you guys what that is all looking like as well so i'll catch up with you guys when i get home all right so i made it home and uh skyla is going to help me get the furniture and stuff back into our room and then i'll show you guys like the whole setup of what's going on so far i'm gonna have to organize the carts um either tonight or tomorrow i'm not sure but uh we still have to cook dinner it just so happens that today is Tuesday and we're having tacos and it's Taco Tuesday, but <laughs> do you know this guy? Mm -hmm. Oh, see, I didn't plan, I just said we're having tacos, but I didn't realize that today was Tuesday and it's like Taco Tuesday. So, will you help mommy? Yeah. Okay, she's gonna help me. Where the chair is gonna go, Skyla's doing a little demo. Yep. Yay! Bless you. Bless you. Thank you. Okay. And then over here is we need to organize all this. The bassinet's not obviously staying right there. It's gonna go um, behind where his head is. <laughs> what? I didn't know she was going to put me in the camera. I'm sitting there like... I'm just comfortable. <laughs> Let's not get everybody the wide-angle ones. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Boom, boom, ba -doom. Boom, boom, ba -doom. What was that? <laughs> Alright, who's making tacos? You guys are so... <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess the 
face turn. Pregnant chick will. Don't use the pregnant card. I heard, <laughs> I heard making tacos is good for heart palpitations. Okay. It soothes your soul. Oh, bless you! <laughs> bless you! <laughs> Excellent. Excellent, you want tacos? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so these plants right here, we're just gonna be watering, and then we are transferring this aloe plant into this big pot. It's obviously much bigger. We have soil. Um, this one, I'm gonna transfer, um, I think, into a different pot because it needs like all brand new soil. I've been trying to put, like, bring this one back to life and. It's not doing, doing, it's not doing, it's not doing so hot. So I'm going to think I'm going to transfer it into a different pot and see if that helps. And then I just got this little guy. He just joined our family. Um, I'm not sure, even sure what it is. What, what kind of plants it is? Can you hold this? Hmm? I don't even know what this is. Oh, it's an ivy. Hopefully not poison ivy. This is why you don't do the plants inside the house. <laughs> right? Right. I know that sounds bright. Oh, what's wrong with this one? This, yeah, it's just kind of bent in half. Okay. We're trying to save this guy. <clears throat> this was one of Skyla's aloe plants that she had in her room. Neglected. But she's going to take care of it. Right? Okay. Alright, and then these are all the plants that I'm going to water right now. Um, this was another aloe plant that I transferred into fresh soil, and then this is that ivy plant that I just showed you guys. I just had to put it in a different pot because the other one was just too small, so. And this one right here, I don't even know what this is, but we're babysitting it Flint. for my mother-in-law. What? Flint. Oh yeah, and Skyla has one upstairs too, so. That's scary. You shouldn't do that to people. Thank you. And the Emmy goes to. Is it Emmy? Or I saw you put this over the phone. And I just didn't want the dogs to go all crazy. <laughs> like calling about like, oh, during the pandemic, we can help with credit card debt. Did you know about this, Daniel? <laughs> yeah. All right, so dinner is all ready. We are having, like I said, tacos. So just some sides. My shirt is filthy. <laughs> You're doing stuff. I look like a uh, big boobs. They're called moves. All right. Uh, Dan prefers to have the chihuahua cheese. He can't just have the regular pasta cheese. We always have tomatoes. I'm sorry. We always have tomatoes, onions, sour cream. <laughs> Uh, and then obviously taco meat. We need taco meat. <laughs> <laughs> we have taco shells with our tacos. Uh, Are you sure we have taco shells? Yes. We have. Can you tell them about the fajitas? Mission carb balance, whole wheat. What? About the fajitas that we 45 calories per serving. No. Should tell them that story. 
What is it? That you thought you ordered the shell, but didn't realize that they changed the shell. Oh. Yeah, if you ever order from Walmart and you will get like a substitution list if they don't have certain things. But if they just don't have anything at all, they just take it off and they say like not available. So they did that and I just happened to look and seen that the they didn't have um, these fajita. Um, these aren't, oh yeah, these are, these are the fajita wraps. And so we went into Walmart and they had like a whole, what do you call it, a kiosk thing? Uh, display. The display, yeah. A whole display of every size that you could think of in these carb balanced uh, tortillas. Mm -hmm. So don't always trust Walmart, I That's guess. That's not what I was talking about. What, what are you talking about? I was talking about? about you did the online order for the shelves and with the groceries and then we made the Fajita stuff last week and then once we were about to eat, we realized we didn't have the shelves. Yeah, so the same, the same thing happened last week with the Fajita shells, <laughs> Fajita tortillas and we were getting ready to eat and then realized that Walmart just took them off of the thing and didn't, yeah. So anyway, um, I've been trying to incorporate um, coconut water back into my diet just to stay hydrated, but the only way that I can drink it is with, is super cold. With what? Vodka. Vodka. <laughs> soon, soon. <laughs> um, just like with ice water, like with ice and the coconut water. <laughs> uh, it's just my preferred way to drink it. So we're gonna eat dinner and then, um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I wanted to do today. Uh, we'll catch back up with you. Before I close out today's vlog, I just wanted to show you guys the patches. So like I said, there there's three here on my chest, and then they do have one on like each side um, of my belly, and that is hooked up to this thing. Um, I think I showed you guys earlier. It does have a lanyard on it, so I'm not sure how that's gonna work tonight while I'm sleeping, but we'll figure it out. Um, it might be long enough that I can actually put it like on the nightstand and still be able to sleep, maybe just like on my on my left side, which I try to sleep on anyway because of my leg issue. Um, but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> I will uh, pick up the camera um, and I have an update. I uh, got pregnancy update on Friday, and I'll probably film that after I get home from the hospital, or from the, from the doctor, um, just so I can fill you guys in on what the doctor said about my test results from this, um, as well as uh, any other thoughts or words of um, hope or encouragement he might have um, for the rest of the pregnancy, like what that looks like for us. Um, but I will probably pick up the camera before that and just do like another vlog. I am hoping to tackle just organizing those carts still and maybe I'll just do like a, um, just one video to show you guys like what I have set up for like postpartum care as well as for like the baby and breastfeeding, all that fun stuff. So I have a lot of videos to do. I still want to do a hospital bag video. I have to edit my um, baby shower haul video. I already filmed that, I just have to edit it. So maybe I'll try and get that done tomorrow. Um, so today is Tuesday. I'm gonna edit this tonight and tomorrow morning and then get it up for you guys tomorrow. So you guys um, will be up to date with everything that's been going on. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.